What's going on, everybody? Happy Midday Monday to you. Pray that all is well. You all are having a God bless Monday afternoon, for this is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. What's going on, guys? This is AGA. No, this is Mr. Favor. I'm sorry. AGA will be back tonight. I was AGA yesterday. <laughs> But this is Mr. Favor, and I'm back for the Midday Monday Nugget, sharing with you guys, all of your business owners out there, those who seek to be in business, get in business. This segment, this nugget is for you. We come on every Monday, 12 noon. Uh, if I'm not able to get on right at 12 noon, I come on uh, between 12 and 1. I try to get on between 12 and 1. Uh, <clears throat> I'm a little late again today because uh, uh, I'm about to, I, ju I just jumped in the car. I'm going to run up here and get something to eat. And then I'm going to come back to the yard. I got to go haul some more gravel. So listen, guys. Hey, what's going on, Sister Keisha? God bless you. Pray that all is well. Good evening to you. Happy Midday Monday to you. DTWC Georgia's own. Pray that y'all doing well. Hey, guys, let's continue to. Pray for all of the states that was hit by Hurricane, uh, what's her name? The Hurricane. Um, Lord Jesus, my mind went blank. I know the name of the Hurricane, but I just can't remember. But anyway, y'all know the Hurricane that came through on last week. So many places are flooded out. People have lost their homes. They've lost their uh, valuables and um People don't have clothes. They don't have food. So let's 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 come together, guys. Let's uh, if you you are blessed to have extra, and you are able to be a blessing. Thank you, Sister Keisha. I'm doing absolutely well. Doing absolutely well. Um, but uh, um, let's continue to pray for all of the families, and let's uh, come together. Um, and, and, and gather some things. Well, one of the things that, uh, that I shared with our church on yesterday is that, uh, God has tremendously blessed us. So let's, let's be a blessing to, if you know people who may be in your area that you may, uh, uh, be able to help them and to assist them in this time of recovery. So much was lost. A lot of cities and towns and areas was flooded out. That's going to be major, major cleanup. Um, it's going to be a lot going on. And so uh, let's continue to pray. And let's pray for all of the families that have lost loved ones. Um, my understanding, they are still uh, recovering uh, bodies and things that were uh, under the flood. That People that have drowned. And so let's pray for all of those families and those who lost their loved ones. And so this is a very sad, grieving time. We're right here at uh, two of uh, some of the major holidays, Thanksgiving and Christmas. And uh, so we want to keep in mind those who are really going through at this time. So let's continue to pray for them. And uh, a lot of churches and houses and homes, schools, all kinds of things was impacted. Whole, whole towns, I mean, whole communities neighborhoods so let's 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 really really be in prayer for uh, uh all of them and, and like i said whatever you can do financially whatever you can do as far as clothes and, and and food and all of that you know do do what you can and, and and be a blessing to to so many people all right guys i know you guys have a heart for that i know that uh um, it, it, even in disastrous times and in and, and, and difficult uh, times and days, um, we, we, we can come together and, and we can we can um, be a blessing to whoever is in need. All right. And God blesses us to be a blessing. So if God has blessed you and you are able to help, um, please don't shut up your bowels of compassion um, and, and, and not be a blessing to somebody. OK, because God blesses those who blesses others god blesses those who blesses others uh, those who are in business um, what kind of business you have 
um, uh, whatever your field is, whatever your uh, expertise is, you know, um, let that be an opportunity from your business, uh, your ministry or whatever, whatever, give back and help and support the in the recovery process of so many people who have lost uh, uh, things and, and, and uh, uh, I mean, just lost loved ones. I mean, that's 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 this is a time that that has been a great loss, great loss. And if you um, did not um, experience any uh, power outages or uh, it, it, any experiences as it relates to damage to your home or your automobiles or whatever the case may be, to God be the glory. That's a blessing. But consider those who uh, did suffer and uh, it is, is, is going through a process of recovery. And uh, so let's 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 keep let's keep that in mind as well. So uh, look at Gregory. <laughs> uh, so so uh, so let's keep that in mind as well. So that's what it's all about, guys. That's what it's all about. So as a ministry, uh, DTWC, um, we're we're going to do uh, what we can as far as helping others and favor trucking as well. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna come together. Uh, DTWC favor trucking. Uh, we're gonna come together and, um, and and be a blessing. Be a blessing. So that's what it's all about, and that's why I believe that that that's why DTWC and favor trucking is so blessed because we practice the uh, we practice the, uh, the 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 system and the and the principle of giving. All right, giving it shall be given unto you. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together running over shell he calls me and to give unto your bosom all right so that's how you get blessed guys that's how you get blessed um so let's let's keep all of the families and all of the communities and neighborhoods and different states in our uh, prayers and whatever you could do to help and to assist if you know someone in your area if you know someone uh that you you can contact be a blessing to them okay all right guys now I want to talk about the um, nugget of the day. Uh, so I want to say to all business owners, y'all continue to keep doing what you're doing. Um, what's going on? Hey, Tanika, what's happening? God bless you. Pray that all is well. Happy midday Monday to you. God bless you and your family on this Monday afternoon. It's good to see you. It's always good to see you. Um, and uh, so let's let's do that and, and, and let's continue to um, 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 go forth and be successful. And most importantly, that prosper in what you do. OK, so I want to say to all business owners, thank you, Sister Tanika. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I want to say to all business owners, as we know, you know, I hear a lot of talk about the election and all of that what's going on and. Everybody's kind of concerned about the election and how things are going to turn out. But I just say to each and every one, um, just manage, manage, manage your money well. <clears throat> um, don't do any unnecessary spending, you know, uh, save, um, kind of keep your costs down, um, that kind of that sort of thing. And uh, just 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 keep operating. Keep working. Uh, just just stay focused on what you're doing. I wouldn't I wouldn't allow myself to get distracted by the election. I wouldn't allow myself to get distracted by all of the politics that's going on, uh, especially if you are a Christian business. We operate from a different system. We are in the kingdom of God. So God is going to take care of us. He's going to provide for us. All right. And it is also a good time. For us to be a witness, to be an example to other businesses who may not be in the kingdom. So we can be a witness and a light to them and, and be an example to them to show them how God, God takes care of his own. And he provides for us and he sustains us and he <coughs> takes us through all of the difficult times. We've been through difficult times before. If you have been in business uh, and with in, in any length of time, 
you've been through some rough seasons. You've been through some hard times. You've been you've been through seasons where you had to go through the ups and the downs, where it was slow, where it was fast paced, where you had some good months and you had some slow months. We've been here before. <clears throat> we've been here before. And the same God that brought us through then is the same God that's able to bring us through now. All right. So I wouldn't I wouldn't get caught up in everything. Excuse me. I wouldn't I wouldn't I wouldn't allow myself to be in a panic. I wouldn't allow fear to come in and, and to to rest upon your mind and get you all stressed out and get you, you know, all frustrated. No, you know what I'm saying? Keep working, keep working, keep pushing, keep pushing. Keep putting that time in, keep making those investments because what you sow you shall reap, okay? What you sow you shall reap. And so you have to prepare. You have to keep on, as you work, prepare. Put something to the side. It don't have to be something large, but if you are consistent in saving something that's small, eventually it will increase. It will multiply. And the more you add to it, the more it grows. The more you add to it, the more it, it increases. Anything you keep adding to is going to uh, increase, okay? If you keep putting uh, a certain amount to the side and don't touch it, and if you do that on a consistent basis, it's going to increase, okay? It's going to it's going to um, um, produce more, all right? So you, you don't have to necessarily have something big in order to create something big. Big comes out of small, okay? You just being consistent and adding to that which started out small, and because you was consistent in adding to that which was small, now it has grown to something big. See, everything that is big, it started out small. Man, I don't care what y'all say. This is good. <laughs> it started out small. You don't have to be in a hurry to get to big. Big is the result of small if you continue to add to that which started out small. It's going to get big. Big is the end result. If you continue and you be consistent and you dedicate yourself and you be committed and you be faithful in that thing, it's going to become big, okay? That's how you see big is the manifestation of small. Okay. All of us was born and when we were born, we was born a baby. Okay. We were small, but as time went on and as we continue to grow and grow up, we have become adults. So we are no longer in the small stage. We have, be, we have become big. So now we are bigger. We are bigger, but we started out small. We are adults. We are men and women, but we started out as babes. You see, you see what I'm saying? So everything that you see big, it started out small. I mean, you can, you can size that to whatever, you know what I'm saying? Something that started out with a few people now is hundreds upon thousands of people, but it didn't start that way. It started out small. Okay. So don't, Despise, despise not the day of small things. Despise not the day of small beginnings. All right? For the end thereof will be great. That's 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 the Bible. Uh, uh, Zechariah 4 and 12. You understand what I'm saying? <coughs> so, <coughs> despise not the day of small beginnings, for the end thereof is great. So, don't despise small beginnings. Something may look small, but don't despise it. Don't underestimate it. A seed, a mustard seed, a mustard seed is small, but it, it can grow into one of the largest trees in the world. OK, so that's why the Bible says if you got faith, the size of a mustard seed. So he puts that in comparison to a mustard seed that if you have faith, the size of a mustard seed, you could do great things. OK, so don't underestimate something because it's small. Good evening to you, Mother uh, Mother Leona Kids. God bless you, Mother. What's going on? Happy Midday Monday to you. <laughs> Amen. We had a good time yesterday at the fellowship. But uh, 
So don't despise small beginners, guys. And it may it may not look like much, but see, it's not how it looks to other people. It's how you look at it. Okay? It's how you see it. Okay? Don't allow other people's negative perspective to influence you not to see the potential in something that you have that may look small. It may look small, but it has potential. It may look small, but it has the ability to become what you need in life. Okay? So don't allow other people's negative perspectives, what other people's opinions are. See, I don't allow what other people think, other people's opinions of what I do or the direction I go or well, why did he do that? Why is he doing that? See, I don't allow that because I stay focused on the plan and the vision that God has given me. Okay. And I stay focused on that and I work it right because people are not able, especially if they're not visionaries, you can't expect sight people to understand vision. You can't expect people who walk by sight and don't live by faith and don't, you know, don't understand vision, who don't have vision. People who don't have vision, they will always comment from a sight perspective, okay? Because seeing is believing. They got whatever they see now, that's what they think is going to be, okay? But when you're a visionary, you can take something that somebody else can speak negative about. And, and look at it and say, oh, man, that ain't nothing. But when you are visionary, you will look at that and say, wow, you can do this with this. You can do this with this. You can I could do this with this. I could do this with that. And so what other people walk by and. You know, what I'm saying <clears throat> and don't give no attention to. I can sit there and be like, wow, because I'm a visionary and I can sit down. You know what? I can take that and do this and do this and do this and do this. And say this and this and this. Y'all are saying that. And I can, I can be, I, I'm able to put away this, this, and this. And still get this, this, this done with this. Okay. And it, and it looks small. And it looks small. But you can do great things. <clears throat> so you can take something small and do great things. Okay. Don't always correlate great things with great with great people or or shall i say eh that that's two different definitions of that okay you could take you could take a little bit and do great things so don't always think that because you see the outcome it had to come from some big great great place or some well-known popular individual god could take somebody that doesn't have popularity but they have vision good evening to you Sister Chella Nelson, what's going on? God bless you. Happy Midday Monday to you. Pray that all is well. God could take somebody who don't have a bunch of notoriety, who don't have a bunch of fame, and he can do great things. See, it is the great God that is producing the greatness. All right? It is God that is great. Great is the Lord, greatly to be praised. Greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. It is him that is great. OK, it is him that does the great things, the greater. OK, greater comes out of a great God. So all he needs is somebody who is willing to trust him and who is willing to believe in what he says and who is willing to carry out what he commands them to do. OK, that's all he needs. He needs vessels. He needs vessels. He has put treasure in earthen vessels that the excellency may be of God and not of us, okay? We are the vessel. We house the treasure, but the treasure belongs to God, okay? So that's all we have to do. We just have to yield. We have to obey. And don't give in to the negativity of sight people, okay? Sight people can never understand what visionary people do. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. They'll have a whole conversation about what you do or did because they don't understand the power of vision, okay? Sight people will never be able to understand what vision people do, okay? So don't allow the negativity uh, and the opinions of sight people to discourage you from what you are doing as it relates to vision, okay? So that's all I'm saying, guys. Don't allow 
Don't allow anybody to discourage you. It may look small, but it's going to end up great. Okay. Big comes out of small. So, you know what I'm saying? This is how we're going to get through this season. This is how we're going to make it through this season right here as it relates to uh, 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 the, the election or uh, hard times, the winter time. It doesn't matter. God is a provider of all seasons. God is a provider of all seasons. No season catch God by surprise. No season catches God off guard. God is a provider of all seasons. Okay. God is the maker of seasons. He is the creator of seasons. So surely he has an understanding of what seasons bring the purpose of the season. God create, he created the seasons and he created the purpose. He, he created a season with a purpose. <clears throat> so God is the provider of all seasons. God will provide. The Lord will provide. He is Jehovah Jireh. The Lord will provide. Okay. So we don't have to fret. We don't have to worry. We don't have to panic. We don't have to live in fear. For God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of love, power, and a sound mind. We got to keep loving God. We got to, we got to keep doing what he says and he would give us the peace. He would give us, he would give us the rest. He would give us that assurance and we got to trust God. You understand? We got to trust God. Your faith is not faith until it's tried. So you got to go through something. You, your faith has to be tried. It's got to be proved. Okay. So don't allow storms and circumstances and situations to discourage you because your faith has to be tried. Okay. Your faith has to be tried. But the Bible says without faith, it is impossible to please God. He that cometh to God must believe that he is, and he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Okay. That's very important, guys. Don't stop seeking the Lord. <clears throat> and remember, God is the provider for every season. There's not a season that comes that God is not able to provide in. OK, he is already provided. As a matter of fact, seasons brings provision. Seasons is 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 filled with provision. A lot of times seasons come and go and we don't even benefit. We don't even draw. We don't even take time to learn about the season and to receive from the season. Seasons always deliver. Seasons always is full of provision and, and revelation and instruction and direction. But a lot of times we don't stop long enough and we don't settle ourselves long enough in order to seek the Lord to find out what is it that is in this season that I need to get out of this season, okay? And, and what is it that I need and the reason why I'm in this season? What is it that this season has that I need so that I can go into the next season prepared? I can go into the next season equipped. I can go into the next season with knowledge and understanding of what I need to make it to the next season and make it in the next season. It's not enough to just make it to the next season, but you got to be able to make it in the season, uh, uh, whatever season it is. You got to be able to maintain. You got to be able to function. You got to be able to produce. Are you producing in every season? We are supposed to be producing in every season. We are supposed to be uh, maintaining in every season. We are supposed to be uh, 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 giving, and we are supposed to be to be to be sharing, and we are supposed to be uh, helping. Uh, uh, not always in need of help, but who are you helping in every season? Who are you being a blessing to in every season? Who are you praying for in every season? All right, so not just getting, but what are you giving? in every season because every season is filled with provision. God is the God that provides for every season. All right. So that's all I'm trying to tell you, ladies and gentlemen. So uh, I pray that um, you all got some out of this nugget. I got to get, I got to get, uh, get back. Uh, I'm on my way. I'm leaving the yard. I uh, had to bring the truck back. I'm going to get me a bite to eat. And then I'm coming, I'm coming back get back in the truck and got to go haul some more rock. But y'all pray for the boy. The boy 
uh, got to go. But I enjoy sharing the nugget with you guys. This is Mr. Favor. It's always a pleasure, a joy, and an honor, and a privilege to be with you guys and hang out with you guys, kind of share some nuggets with you guys, all business owners, those who seek to be in business, those who thinking about it. You know what I'm saying? These nuggets are for you. If you need encouragement, this nugget is for you. Whatever you're going through, this nugget is for you. So whether you're going through in life, whether you're going through uh, in ministry, whether you're going through in business, makes no difference. You can use these principles and you can be blessed by these nuggets. All right. Good evening to everybody that's coming in. God bless you. If you didn't get a chance to check out the beginning of the video, please go back and watch it. But the boy got to get up out of here so I can finish the rest of my day so that I can be ready to serve you all tonight, 7 p.m. Meet me back here tonight, 7 p.m. with AG8. We talking about dealing with the issues in the music ministry, and we've been having a great, 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 great time. People have been blessed. A lot of things are transpiring. And so we are we are giving God glory back to the Bible family and all the friends and all the supporters, those who share the videos, those who comment, those who like all that you do. It does not go unnoticed. Greatly appreciate it. You hear me? So continue to pray for one another. Love ye one another. All right. Spread that love abroad. And let God bless you real, real good. This is me the favor. I'm out of here. Peace.